This is a demonstration video of the vintage Portadyne record player. I'm just going to demonstrate it to you so you can see it playing and so that you'll be familiar with it when you receive it. When you receive it, the first thing to do is screw down the two transit screws on the deck located here and here. Screw those all the way down fully clockwise so the deck floats on its springs. Also remember to unclip the arm. On the front are the two controls for volume and tone and the mains power switch is on and off automatically as the deck stops and starts. On the deck you have the speed control here, stop start control here and size selection for a 7, 10 or 12 inch here on the right hand side. You can load between 1 and 6 records, I'll demonstrate with 2 just so you can see it play. Pop the records onto the spindle ledge and put the stacker arm across. Select the correct speed and size and flick the switch to auto to start the auto changer. It was night time in the chapel when I saw her kneeling there. For forgiveness, the shadows kissed her golden hair. If you want to skip to the next record, just flip the switch to auto again. just demonstrate with the start of a 12 inch record as well. And of course the arm lifts off automatically when it reaches the end of the record. If you don't want to use the auto changer and you just want to play one record manually at a time, you can just pop an individual record down the spindle onto the platter and with the stacker bar in the upright position as shown here, you can flick the switch to auto and the arm will go across. Or you can select manual start which starts the turntable turning and you can then place the arm onto the records yourself. Once the arm is on the record and it's playing, carefully lower the stacker arm down so it knows to switch off once it reaches the end of the record. If you leave it playing with the stacker bar left in the upright position, like so, that enables the repeat function and the same record plays over again until manually switched off. So I hope that covers everything for you, but if you do have any questions when you receive it, I'll include my personal email address in with the machine, and please use that method to contact